What's up Tesla family, it's Ray J back with another video and in this one I want to give you guys a quick update on what's going on with Tesla and the markets. Just note that I am not a financial planner so take nothing I say as financial advice and also if you guys can please check out the Moomoo link. If you deposit $100 you're guaranteed 5 free stocks, if you deposit 1000 bucks, you're guaranteed 15 in total, not to mention an 8.1% APY on uninvested cash. It offer ends in just about 12 hours from now so check it out before they run out. Anyways, now let's talk about what's happening with the market. So I just wanted to mention that Tesla started off with a very, very nice pump all the way up to about this 264 area. But like I warned you guys, I said that there were some signals that show Tesla may dip a bit. I was thinking it would kind of pop to 260, then dip. We went a little bit higher than that to 264 before we saw this rejection. And now Tesla is struggling to hold above 260. So it's showing some weakness, especially after the downgrades we got from RBC Capital. So that's no surprise. Uh, the question is what's going to happen from this point on. We have a big catalyst coming out in about two hours from now. We have Jerome Powell, the big guy, giving a speech at 1.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is actually like, uh, uh, I would say like two and a half hours from now. So when Jerome Powell speaks, the market's going to likely shake, and I can't wait to see what he has to say. Just know one thing about the markets. Uh, right now, the market thinks there's about a 61% chance we get a 25 basis point cut in November and about a 38% chance we get a 50 basis point cut. So that's what the market's looking at thus far. Tesla is starting, it started off with a very, very nice pump only to dip back down. And we're actually in the red. We're down 0.7% right now. We got this nice wick that formed, which oftentimes signals liquidity is being drawn from here. And this could signal a downwards move. Tesla is also a little bit in the red, despite the fact that SPY is in the green and the QQQ is flat. So Tesla is showing a little bit of weakness right now. We saw some negative news involving uh, what RBC Capital had to say. And it's no surprise to see this. Uh, I don't think that the whole dock workers uh, news is too significant for Tesla right now. So I'm not too worried about that. And overall, it's doing a decent job. Uh, we are still holding up above our 20 EMA. It's going to be our key support at that 254.5 area. As long as we hold above that, we're going to be fine. If we were to lose that, we could be looking for a bigger dip. But overall, I still think we're holding up. So if we do dip lower, we're looking at 258 as our main supports. If that fails us, we're looking for 255. It's possible we do dip closer to that area, but like I said before, whether or not we get a big pump and dump by the next two and a half hours depends a lot on what Jerome Powell has to say. So we'll just have to wait and see what he has to say. Um, I'm, I might not be able to release another video until after Jerome Powell is done speaking. So just want to give you guys a heads up about that. Be prepared for some high volatility. It is possible he pumps us back up, but we'll see if Tesla could hold up relative to the market. It's possible that Tesla consolidates to 258 for now, maybe dips a little bit, and we'll see what happens with Jerome Powell's speech. So please keep that in the back of your guys' minds. As far as SPY goes, we are we started off with the dip. We dipped all the way down to about this 569.8 area. Then we started to bounce back up. So the 4 hours reclaiming the 20 EMA. This is a decent sign. If we do hold above 570.7, we'll see if Jerome Powell pumps us temporarily or not. If he pumps us and we hold above 571.5, we could be looking for a move back up towards this resistance up here towards 572.5. If Jerome Powell gives us the rug pull, you want to see us close below 570.62. We need to lose that and we'll turn back down. So we'll see if Jerome Powell causes a pump or dump. That's going to be in about two and a half hours from now. For NVIDIA, we dipped all the way down. We came down to 117, came just short of my 116 targets. Now we're rebounding to about 121. So 121 is going to be our resistance to watch for. Uh, when Jerome Powell starts his speech, if we break that, we're going to be looking for a pushback up to about 124. If he gives us a rug pull, we want to see us lose 118 again. As of right now, it's in the middle, so we will have to see. I can't predict everything that happens during Powell's speeches. We have to wait and see. For now, ES is trying to rebound. We are trying to get back above our... Uh, 20 EMA. It's 557.91 uh, is our resistance. Our support is at 57.80 uh, basically. We could attempt to rebound, try to break the 20 EMA. So we'll see if that breaks. So be very patient with this nonetheless and we'll see. If we don't end up breaking this, we could dip. But I'm going to be very patient. For Bitcoin, we're dipping right here. We're looking at this resistance around the 64,000 area and we have the support around the 63,500 area. We're kind of stuck in the middle. Uh, we're just consolidating in this range, so we'll give this some time to develop. Uh, we will see if this dips lower, so we'll give this some time. For others out there, uh, we also have, let me just double check this, NQ. We're showing a little bit of weakness compared to SPY because uh, there were more tech stocks that are slowing down. 
We have a 20,226 as our resistance. We have a 20,078 as our support. We're stuck in the middle, showing a little bit of weakness. Uh, we are going to attempt to get back up to 20,200. But like I said before, whether or not we break the resistance and try to bounce depends on Jerome Powell. So I think we just shuffle until then. Same thing with the QQQ. We may continue to shuffle around 4 uh 86 that's just a little bit above our 20 ema at 485.94 if we lose the 20 ema we could dip lower towards 482 then 480 if we hold above it we could rebound for 490 so we'll see which way we go so be very very patient nonetheless for apple apple's forming a nice cup here we're looking for basically 232 as our resistance we have supported 227 and 225 we will see if the inverse and shoulders pans out or not but overall there is a nice structure here and we could be looking for basically 233 so give this some time to start pushing higher we're gonna have to be kind of patient with this and we'll see how things end up going this through here moving forward for the iwm russell 2000 we are in the middle we're trying to hold 218 if we lose 218 we're looking for 216 if we break past 220 we're looking for a push the resistance at 222, we'll see if that breaks or not. So be very, very patient nonetheless, and we'll see how things end up going. We also have resistance at 223, so I could be looking for a small push approaching Jerome Powell, and we'll see if he launches this up or not. Does he launch this up? We have to wait and see. Despite that, coin is kind of tipping a little bit. If we don't hold above 182, we're looking for a retest of 178. So 182 is the key support. The resistance at 185, followed by 188. So we will see which way we end up going. We're just range bound for now. For Amazon, we're dipping right over here. So we're looking for basically 180. I'm just double checking this 183.5. We'll see if we bounce off that or not, but it still looks a little bit more bearish to me. I think we could be dipping towards 183 before it tries to bounce. We'll see what happens with Powell. We got a little bit of a push on Meta up, up to like the 570s. I was talking about this, how, how this might try to push. But is this a head and shoulders forming? Is this a left shoulder here? Is this a head and this is, is this about to form a right shoulder to start rejecting? We'll have to watch and see. If we end up losing 565, I will turn a little bit more bearish. If we hold above this, there's still potential for us to try to push back up to 578. So we're in the middle approaching Jerome Powell. Microsoft is also shuffling in between these key levels. If we lose 424, we turn more bearish. If we break 429, we're more bullish. We're in a five-point range. We may remain in here for now until we see what Jerome Powell has to say. And finally, we have Google. Google is once again consolidating. We're trying to hold 165. If that holds, I could be looking for 167. If we lose 165, we're looking for 163. Again, we're kind of in the middle. So give it some time to consolidate, and we'll see what Jerome Powell causes. The VIX is dipping a bit. It is possible we eventually push to fill this gap and maybe later on. So I'm going to be very, very patient nonetheless. With that being said, guys, Tesla's continuing to consolidate between 258 to 260. May continue to do so, not really do much. So we will see what happens with Jerome Powell's speech at 1.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you guys mark your calendars and you're ready. So be prepared and give, give you guys like a warning, excuse me, about how this is going to go. Uh, I thank you all so much for listening. So have a great day and I'll see you guys in a couple of hours and just about like two hours from now, maybe a little bit after Jerome Powell's speech. So we'll see how it goes. So be ready, guys. Do what you have to do and peace out.